Greetings all, Ferrari Man 601 here. Bit of a utility video for all of you today. In the last couple of days I've gotten some questions about how do you install Assetto Corsa mods, so I figured I would show you. This is at least the way I do it. Some of you may be a little bit more hands-on in terms of manually unpacking the files into the appropriate directories and things like that, but with this method I have had a lot of success, things work well, and for the most part I don't have to go back and fix anything later on. So what you want to do is you'll go to a website that hosts mods. There are plenty of them out there. I don't want to plug anybody here, so I'm not going to mention them by name, but if you're into Assetto Corsa, you know what they are. You're going to download the file, and then you're going to see something like this in your download directory, wherever you have pointed the file to go. So this happens to be the package for VRC's McLaren MP422. What you're going to do is you're going to click on it. You want to make sure that the archive is the size that they say it is and everything like that. Unfortunately, sometimes from certain websites you do get files that are either corrupted or they contain some nasty things in them, so you just want to make sure that the file is what it says it is, so make sure the file sizes match up. If you have an antivirus software, you may want to scan it really quick, but regardless, you can go into the file and you can decide how you want to work with it. I use WinRAR. That's an old program that is specifically for unpacking archives like this. It is a 7Z file, so uh, that is a native format for WinRAR, so it supports it just fine. Some files also work with WinZip, and of course there are some other unpacking software that uh, are out there and you can use. But if you've got it associated already with a program like WinRAR, it'll come up with the WinRAR icon like you see, and then you're just able to double click on it and it will open up. So once you're into the file through WinRAR, you're going to see what's in it. So this is the overall directory. VRC, they include some wallpaper files, they include this AC folder, which is really important, AC files here, and of course they include the README file, which is also important, definitely read the README. It'll answer most of the questions you already have. So what you want to do is once you figure out how your archive is packed up, you want to explore the folders and see what's in there. Your AC files folder is what's most important for this one. So you want to double click on the AC files folder and you'll see this one come up, content. This is where all of the files for the car are going to be. So your models, your textures, your sounds, your physics, all of that is inside this content folder. If we go into the content folder, you're going to see fonts, driver, and cars. You may notice, if you've looked into your Assetto Corsa root directory, there are sections of that directory that have folder names just like that. So if I go into my native Assetto Corsa directory here, in my uh, machine it's designated drive F, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then it leads me to the Assetto Corsa directory. You're going to notice that you have a few different servers here. One of them is content. If we go back to our WinRAR archive for a second, you'll see content is also here. What you're going to want to do is make sure you've selected the content directory in your download, whatever that file is. Extract to in WinRAR, and then you want to select the directory for Assetto Corsa. So for me, that's Steam, Steam Apps, common, Assetto Corsa, and then you see that content folder. You'll notice here in our file path up at the top, we have F, Steam, Steam Apps, common, Assetto Corsa. That is the end directory where you're going to be pointing this content folder when you unpack it. So that means that when you unpack this folder, you're going to be replacing the content folder in this subdirectory for Assetto Corsa with the content folder from your mod in addition to the material that is already in your Assetto Corsa content folder. It will not delete anything. It will simply copy and replace all of the existing content in the content folder as well as add the content from whatever mod you've just downloaded. So you're not going to lose anything that's already there, but you are going to gain whatever is in the mod. So what you would do then is select content if you had gone further. So for example, if you had gone into content here, you would select all of these folders and then you would point them in their appropriate directories in a set of course. But if you went one step back where we were before, 
Content, Extract To, select your file path. You can enter this manually if you know the file path by name directly, or you can select it using the GUI here, Common, Assetto Corsa. Make sure it's all selected, and then you would just click OK, and that would unpack all of your files into the main Assetto Corsa directory, replacing the content files here, carrying over the ones that were already there so you don't lose anything, as well as copying over the new files for, in this case, VRC's McLaren MP422. I've already done that, so I don't want to do it again, but that is what you would do to set up a mod in Assetto Corsa. What you would do after that, just to make sure everything is OK, is to go in, make sure the car is there, boot it up on a circuit just to make sure the sounds are there and everything looks right, you can interface with everything, and then you are set to go. So hopefully that was informative for all of you, and I hope it answers most of your questions with regard to how to install mods for Assetto Corsa. Thanks everybody!